Hey guys, that's Sleepy Girl here, and welcome to another episode of the Calabacorn Zoo. Uh, so this is episode two. It's the second round. Um, the first round was finished. Everybody built their stuff, um, and now we've moved on to round two. I am the first person to um, have a turn in round two, which is very exciting because it's been a while since we did this and worked in this zoo. Um, so here we go. I decided to take things a little differently for the video for this episode instead of uh, doing a time lapse of the build especially since my vision wasn't super clear with this one and things changed around and there was a lot of terraforming and stuff um, I decided to scrap that idea and instead just do a walkthrough of the finished product um, so the first thing that I worked on was the big cat sanctuary entrance with all this tiger stick Tiger King stuff going on. Um, I've had big cats on my mind and so I decided since nobody had put any big cats in the zoo as of yet um, we would create a dedicated area for them and just show that big cats can have decent habitats and not be caged up. Um, so as you can see here I created two banners. These banners are in the workshop and I'll put the links below as well as there is a banner for the Jaguar that was just released in the new DLC. Um, now for round two, we are not including the new DLC items as of yet. Um, and so for that reason, I use the Tiger and the Lion and not the Jaguar. Um, so this is a very simple uh, area entrance compared to what we did in round one, which was the Rainforest with the Rainforest Cafe and everything. Um, just some simple lion statues just to kind of get the feel. Uh, one thing that I do like it with the update itself is the new mossy rocks. Um, and so I was able to use those um, sunken in the trees to kind of add some moss to the side of the trees. So I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. Um, I also added some lighting this time, which I didn't forget. So if we switch over to night... We have a nice glow on the banners. It lights up the sign, Big Cat Sanctuary. It's a little bright, but I like it. Um, so yeah, so this is the entrance that we worked on. Now, I wanted to keep things a little simpler this time around. Um, we put a lot of items into the first one, and these banners themselves are 2,500 pieces each. Uh, so that is a lot. So I wanted to try and keep things simple and with that in mind I also wanted to get a habitat done this round um, and not just be known for the structures um, And I thought it'd be really fun. I've been wanting to do a tiger habitat for a while um, So that is what I did. So I kept things really simple in this area um, And now if we walk through You'll see here on the left you're greeted with a Bengal tiger sign um, and then it says Panthera tigris. It, their um, scientific name is Panthera tigris tigris. Um, however, that wasn't going to fit in the signs we had. And since it's the same word repeated, we just cut it short here. Um, but again, I really like how this sign turned out. Um, the Bengal tiger is written on the large green sign with the rounded top. And then Panthera tigris was in a smaller African sign. It's a square sign with some um, decorations on it. Uh, and then again, it's just sunken in just enough so that you can see just the words. So I think that looks good. And with the bangle bamboo behind, I think that's very appropriate. Um, so my idea with this, and again, it's really open to interpretation since I'm not the one creating this entire zoo. Um, is that you walk in and there's going to be like a main path that runs through the cat sanctuary section um, and then you'll have you know jut outs for the actual habitats uh, that way everything is very secluded habitat wise um, it really gives you this sanctuary feel that you're immersed in just that you're not seeing a bunch of other habitats while you're looking at a specific animal uh, so if we make a turn here and go down this jut out and don't mind the uh, all the garbage. I put the garbage bins in last. So here you start to see into the habitat. We can see a tiger over here playing around, I think. Oh, that's a very interesting. 
I'm sure there's a tiger there playing with that. Anyways. Um, so we have some very simple um, education boards. Again, I'm trying to not overdo it, but still make it look okay. Um, so if we look from the above, let's see here. If I can get this to work properly. And let's get rid of this. Just to give you an idea. So under these two trees here in the center, that's our entrance. So you come in, you turn left, and this is our habitat. So it's nice, large habitat. It's much larger than the requirements for the two tigers. Um, and then we have a staff plaza, which we'll show in a bit. And then I just added some extra pieces that I created and made so that if others wanted to keep the consistency, if they wish, you know, they can go in here. Um, so looking here, we have a covered area to protect our guests if it rains or to keep them out of the sun. Right here we have a um, education board. I believe Chief Nadia made these. Um, and they're at the entrance of our zoo. We kind of have the um, donation covers, the bins in the right color, the light posts, and a few other things there for us to use just so that we have some uh, consistency in the zoo. So again, we're looking over, we can see a tiger. He's approaching the waterway. We've got a, a nice small waterfall. Again, I tried to keep things simple. I don't want to overdo it. We're a lot of people working on this and everybody wants to turn. And of course we want this zoo to be able to function until we get to the end. Um, of course, all the education boards are accompanied by the uh, sound here. Now, I originally wanted to make some form of treehouse, uh, but the first few designs that I had weren't really working. I wanted people to be able to see the tigers play around in the trees and stuff. Um, and with making a treehouse with the walls and stuff, it wasn't really working. So instead, I went for two platforms with a um, rope type bridge, drawbridge thing in the center. Um, I think it works. People get to see them play. There's some um, enrichment items on each of the platforms so that the tigers actually want to go up there. Um, and I think that works very well. So if we go over here, as we continue our journey down this path, we're in a building. Now my initial plan for this building uh, was to have, like the underneath is where the entrance to the to the exhibit is for the, um, for the zookeepers. And then up here I wanted it to be a sleeping area and I was gonna put ramps up. But for it to work properly, the entrance, um, like the habitat entrance, would have been had to have been along this back line, or any time they came in, it would say that they were escaping. And even with doing that, um, I just couldn't get the look that I wanted in doing it in that manner. Um, so I left it alone for a bit, and then eventually I decided to create a viewing point here. So if you come in, you walk out, you have this gorgeous oh, view of this tiger pooping. It's all glass panes here, which makes it really easy. They get a nice overview. You can see up in the trees. You can see the tigers playing. Uh, you can see the water area. I just think it's a really, really nice feature. Oh, we can see a zookeeper going in here. Here, the um, education boards have been a little spiced up, a little spruced up here, inside here. Um, I added this, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be a zebra stripe, but colored it orange and I think it, it it does a job. You can tell that it's supposed to be for a tiger. We've got donation things everywhere. Um, again, this area kept it very simple. Um, I put the, the education speaker thing in the center so that instead of having a couple small ones, this whole area is covered. Um, we've got a pixel art wall piece here. We've got some other art pieces and a larger pixel art over here. All these pixel arts um, signs and stuff are on my workshop as well, which will all be linked below. And then we added these small banners here, um, cloth sheet things. You know, just again, add a little bit of detail, make it, you know, a little bit more fun, but without going overboard. So before we get into the habitat itself, I added this um, small little wall here just to segregate so that when you're walking in, you don't see the mess 
behind. And then again, these are the little things I added for other people to use if they want to use the same sign um, and just change the wording for the lions and everything else. Um, so here we have our small staff plaza. These are buildings that um, I created. I Again, all blueprints will be in Steam. They, oh, let me guess. Yeah, the lemurs. Whoever made the lemur habitat needs to fix their barriers up a little bit. The lemurs are constantly escaping. Um, so yeah, so these are buildings that I created um, for the Shanti Park. Um, however, I never ended up using them. So I think I still plan to use them there, um, but I had them and I've yet to use them and I was really excited. They fit the style of this zoo perfectly in this area and so I figured why not. Now there is another one that is um, the research facility that goes in with this collection. However, we don't really need research here and I was, again, this is just like necessities type thing the reason that the quarantine building is there is because the staff area is up top so we have our staff building oops, up in here um, and as you can see there's some chairs here which fits perfect they can look over at the lion or at the tiger sorry over here we have another again this is really unnecessary guests can't get to this this is just um, for show kind of thing for the um, staff and then back here we have our entrance which is really gross um, but it it does a job and if we go in here this is how they get into the habitat that's the habitat gate um, now in front of the habitat gate I have walls and stuff and I made my own door um, just because that is my preference I think it looks better than um, the open habitat gate and then we have some water and some power. Again, I don't believe it's necessary per se for this zoo the way we have it set up. However, I wanted things to be slightly realistic. Um, and that is something we would need. So this first building here, very nice, has a little parking area. We have the uh, a Jeep. We've Again, custom doors on top of what's there, custom windows on top of what's there. The top is the staff area, the bottom is quarantine. Um, that could also be changed for the uh, the medical center where they do the operations and surgeries and stuff. Here we have our keeper's hut. So this is a large keeper's hut. Again, this building is a lot bigger than necessary for the keeper's hut. Um, but I do like to get a grip of what's actually going on. So the top, there's just a bunch of empty crates of different sizes. Uh, the crates are something I created myself, again, on the workshop. Um, and then we have a parking area, and as you can see, this one's got a trailer, um, as though if they were to need to bring a lot of stuff in. We've got a couple dumpsters I created, again, on the workshop. Um, on this side, we have, like, the planting area. So, again, these are not overly realistic. It's just to give an idea and to work with what we have in the game. So they have, uh, you know, their veggies and stuff planted here and fruit and they can collect them and here we have another crate full of that stuff kind of that's being collected in the process of going inside to set up for the animals we've got a little wheel cart and then again this is another access into um, the garage area so here we have finally the workshop so this is for our mechanics um, there is a small like step ladder that's included in the game, um, but I didn't feel that it matched with uh, the style, I should say, of the decor that we're going for here. And so I just created my own with this um, path liner, put two side by side. Um, again, these are some of the East Asia or Indian crates, things that come included some African decor and then here I really want to make it seem like he's loaded up with a bunch of stuff so he's got an upside down Jeep he's working on um, our mechanics really got a lot going on so he's got some education boards piling up some AC units more education stuff just some random boxes and crates um, and then the education speakers again just to m make it look like we've got a real messy messy uh, mechanic over here that can stay organized um, 
we've got you know an awning thing and then he as well has got a Jeep with a small trailer going on now one thing that I did do and of course I asked permission first just to confirm was I changed around the shape of this monorail now these monorails were put in with the entrance building um, which was done by the person who created the map which I believe is shifty squirrel um, and so when they made that these were kind of just placeholders just to give an idea that we want a monorail system going over here as well as that one um, so I switched these up it was running directly through the center here and then coming across so we just shifted it over a bit um, and even that it could be moved even closer if somebody wanted to use up this area um, I just didn't want it running through the habitat itself and I'm not very good or familiar with the monorail systems and the tracks and stuff so I just moved it easily simply did what I needed to and then that's running again so now let's jump into the habitat itself so this oh my goodness this is annoying maybe if I just remove that entirely okay so let's take a look at our habitat first I just want to see oh I'm gonna need that on all right so if we look the welfare 99% I think that's pretty darn good if I do say so myself um, so if we look at nutrition it says last drink cleanliness 99% this is covered by the water treatment center so I mean there that's out of my hands there's not more than I can do for that um, if we go over to social oh my goodness those lemurs are annoying anyways that's I didn't make it so I didn't want to go in and make changes to it uh, social group is perfect space is like I said they've got ample amounts of space social there's two of them that's just what they want um, and there's no stress I think part of the no stress is because they don't have um, people coming in at the same level of them viewing so we don't have any one-way glass we don't have any of that stuff but because they're um, elevated the viewing places um, it really makes the tigers feel at home and they don't feel like people are crowding in on them habitat is 99% uh, one of them is due to cleanliness everything else is 100 so again that's out of my hands anytime there's one little bit of poop on there that's gonna be considered you know and enrichment a hundred percent so that's perfect now enrichment I know since this is not my zoo and I'm not gonna be in here all the time we're not gonna be swapping it out because we did it really based on um, like appeal like what looks good that's where we place them so nobody's gonna be coming here in here and swapping out the enrichment once the Tigers get bored of it um, but that's fine so we have this enrichment thing that is going to town and I did not know it did that but it is sunken into this log here um, and I like kind of doing that as much as possible where and when we can and then along this tree if I can get a good angle here there's a scratching post Um, and so the cats can go up again just enticing them to come up here I used the longest vine which ended up this is a total fluke matching the shape of this bridge here in the perfect length so we just added that we've got the vines and the ivy hanging down we have sporadic rocks I tried to keep them where terrain um, changed so it's like along the side kind of like a little wall here keeping everything together um, I added a few mossy rocks here and there nothing over the top again I'm trying to keep this one more simple um, add a lot less details and so we've got the scent marker blood marker thing here now again inside of this flat area there is oh you can kind of see it right here there's a, a food area and then inside one of these rocks as well there's a food area so that the keeper can come in lay down the food but you don't see those silver plate uh, square plate things which I think is important again because I feel like those are very ugly so we added a little bit of rock here to differentiate the terrain to make it seem like the cats walk along this area a lot 
um, and then we come to the water area. So we've got some trees, some rocks, everything. Over here we've got our waterfall. Again, it's not perfect. It's very simple, um, but it was just kind of the look I was going for. Uh, I added this little stream here to make it seem plausible that there would be a waterfall there. However, I couldn't... I removed the water in the large area that was originally put in, but because of all the building that we've done, it won't let us add the water back in. So I had to undo that and just add this little area. Now if I filled this area properly, it would have filled my entire like tiger den. Um, and so it had to be blocked off. So it's not perfect looking and I wasn't 100% sure how to get it to look a little better, but I'm satisfied with the way this looks. Um, so that's the waterfall. Now I went for a rock exterior. Again, I wanted this to look and feel very natural. I didn't want any legitimate barriers or anything like that. So I created some rock pieces and just duplicated them all over the place, flipped them around just to try and keep some, uh, you know, so that it's not very repetitive. So here we have a tiger hanging out up here. And I think this is a great viewing point for our guests. So if you're, oops, if you're standing right here, you can definitely see that very well. I know the guests are probably going to complain that they can't see the tigers very well just because it's such a large area. Let's see if we can. There's litter on the path, monorail one, want to go to monorail two. Okay. Don't they have caretakers to cook this? Yes, we do. I don't think I added a caretaker to this area actually, but that's fine. At the end of the round, generally somebody is going to go in and ensure that the work zones are right and that we have enough people. Okay, so they're not saying anything about the tigers, so let's do it a different way. Here's our entrance. As I mentioned, I added my own custom door. I used... These are um, these bases for the statues, the stone statues. Um, and so there's a couple there. And I just use that to make some stairs. So if we go in here and turn around. Let's click on this. And you can get a good view of the Bengal Tiger. Oh, there we go. I suppose a view of the Bengal Tiger from here is fine. I wish I could have stayed longer to see the Bengal Tiger. Well, that's your own fault. All right, so everything is good there. Again, I'm not too concerned about what the guests think. Honestly, I was, I'm doing this because I like, you know, decorating and making things look natural. And so this is what we have. So we have two tigers. Rohan, which is a male, and we have Trisha, a female. And yeah, this is their home. I think it's, I think it looks good. As you can see here, we have another, some more of that moss in the trees. I know this tree's got some, just little details. Again, I tried to not go super overboard, but I still wanted to have them every now and then so that if you catch it, it just makes the whole thing feel a lot more detailed. Um, and then in this, I think there's something on here. Yeah, so in here we've got another one of those rubbing posts. Um, and so the cats can come up here. But overall, I think this is good. Our tigers are happy, which is, you know, a good thing. Um, and... I think personally it looks good and it kind of checks all the boxes so that is our our entry or our creation for round two so it's this little l-shaped type area right here this little corner and again these are just some extra stuff for the other people to use if they want to and if they continue in the big cat sanctuary area because again not everybody um, will maybe want to to create a big cat habitat or area or whatever um, and so that's fine everybody is up to do as they please I was really happy with the results um, from round one